Hey guys, let us see the important questions in Computer Organization and ARM Microcontroller subject. In the first module, you can see here the syllabus, basic structure of computers and input output organization. So in this module, simple bus architecture is very important. Then basic performance equation and spec rating of to measure the performance of the CPU is very very important. And then coming to IO, IO operations involving a keyboard and display device with a program that reads one line from the keyboard and stores it in a buffer and echoes it back to display. So this question may be asked. This is also given in the other model question paper of computer organization subject. Explain hardware interrupt and enabling disabling of the interrupts and how to handle interrupt from multiple devices using daisy chain and priority schemes and then question number six is define what is dma direct memory access explain the registers in dma interface and dma controllers explain centralized and distributed bus arbitration approach this is also important and then interface circuits like keyboard to processor interfacing printer interface to processor and serial interface can be asked and computer system with different interface circuits can also be asked. This is a block diagram. And explain PCI bus with data transfer signals and read operation how it will be happen in PCI bus. A timing diagram is also given in the textbook. And they may ask USB architecture. Out of PCI and USB, you can expect one question. And also spec rating performance equation bus architecture is important. And from interrupt, you can ask you can expect one question and this bus arbitration and DMA we can expect one question then coming to module 2 module 2 is about memories and basic processor processing units so here memories there are different memories discussed starting with 1 bit uh, cell 6 bit cell that is 60 cell RAM ROM everything so starting with organization of bit cells in a memory chip how it will be can be asked and there is a diagram for 1k memory chip organization and static memory cell that is we call it as 60 ram structure you can also get this question in exam multiple times in memory uh, concept this question is asked in exams to explain how the 60 ram structure works with read and write operation 1t ram cell that is dynamic ram and how the storage will be in 1T cell and to construct 16 MB that is uh, 2 mega cross 8 DRAM structure can be asked. Explain synchronous DRAM and a function of memory controller and different types of ROMs this question can be asked different types of ROMs like EPROM uh, those things. Discuss speed size cost of memories how the speed varies with respect to size and cost and how the variation of cost will be if you increase the speed how size matters ninth question explain direct mapped and associated mapped cache tenth question single bus organization data path inside a processor and eleventh question fetching a word from memory or storing a word in memory this also can be expected sequence of operations to execute one instruction add of R3 comma R1. So this question is also there in the other model question paper of CVO. Uh, since it has steps involved in executing add of R3 comma R1. Explain three bus organization of data path and then basic idea of instruction pipelining, four stage pipelining and pipeline stalls. Here out of first five questions you can expect one or two questions and memory controller, ROM, and size speed of memories you can expect one question and then come to the single bus organization uh, fetching a word from memory executing one instruction and data path instruction pipelining you can expect two questions instruction pipelining uh, is a mandatory question you will get four stage pipelining may be asked coming to module 3 module 3 is uh, the embedded systems with ARM processor. Here the basic question you may get is risk and CISC difference. What is the differences between risk processor and CISC processor? 
and typically embedded device based on the ARM core and advanced memory bus architecture that is AMBA protocols. You may uh, expect this question. There are three AMBA protocols to explain in brief. Explain initialization code that is boot code with a memory initialization. With diagram explain ARM core data flow model. Then generic program status register. Uh, uh, status register can be asked to explain. Explain the complete register set of a ARM processor. Describe pipeline mechanism in ARM processor execution sequence. Discuss exceptions, interrupts and vector table. One human architecture with cache and Harvard architecture with TCNs. These are few questions. These all uh, have some examples in the textbook. So refer the textbook PDF which I have given in the description. You can download that and refer. Coming to module 4, it is introduction to ARM instruction set. Here all the different instruction sets questions will be asked like arithmetic, logical, comparison instruction, multiply instruction, branch instruction, load store instruction like that. And also some software interrupt instructions, program status register instructions, ARM v5e uh, extensions, conditional execution with examples. All these again requires a small snippet of code with examples how the execution will be. So you need to refer the textbook for examples here also. Coming to module 5, this is introduction to thumb instruction set of ARM. So here thumb register usage with the limitations for those registers and explain thumb data processing instructions with syntax with an example and explain single register and multiple register load instructions, load and store instructions. And fourth one is explain software in, uh, interrupt instruction that is SWI with example to show processor goes from thumb state to arm state after execution of that example. You need to write with an example. Explain how ARM compilers handle the basic C data types. And discuss with an example what is the most efficient way to write a for loop on the ARM. So here also there are examples given uh, in the textbook. You can refer the textbook for examples. Better to write all the answers for these module 3, 4, 5 with an example. You can find the download link in the description of this video. Please refer to that for examples. Thank you.